Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna quickly go through a model which has been sent to me by a subscriber. Subscriber generated the polycrystal mesh as which you can see on the screen uh, through a software which is called Napper. It's an open source code and you can use it to generate polycrystal structures as you see on the screen and also the meshing in your code. So what Again, if you want to learn about this, then you, there are some documentation and tutorials about it. So you can have a look at that. I will try my best to create a video on that if there's an interest. Meanwhile, the user has generated a file which looks something like this. Again, it's already matched, so I cannot modify any geometry or anything. And also the match doesn't look optimized to me. And I can see a lot of problems in these areas, for example. Also, if I go to the mesh, then I can see that there are many different types of elements which are used not many but i would say two types of elements which are used which is incorrect in my opinion it's a three it seems like a 3d model so you should only use 3d elements let's see what element types are there in the mesh so if you look at this there are cpe3 which is a triangular element which is present in the model and also c3d4 which are 3d tetrahedron elements which you can clearly see in the model so again it's not very good mesh and again the user who has sent me this i would request or suggest that go back and generate a file which has an optimized mesh or generate a geometry which you can then import in abacus and then make your own mesh here which is more useful because then you will have a compatible mesh with abacus software itself so what user wants is, wants is basically the the user wants to assign if I can make it more clear, you see there are a lot of poly sets, element sets, and these are actually the grains. So if I click on edit, then you will see it's one grain here. If I click on this, there's another grain here. Then So these are the grains which has been generated and the sets are being created by that software. So you see there are many grains in this. User wants to assign dual face material properties so some of the grains will have properties of one material and some of the grains will have a properties of the other material so it's more like a dual face steel or titanium if you're using it so user has also sent me the uh, the material property so what i have done quickly is i have created a material i can just pre pre press create then press mechanical and elastic and then it asks me for Young's Modulus and Poisson's Ratio and that's what I have done for Material 1 and 2. So if I show you the Material Properties and Material 1 is, as you can see, is what HC, HCP phase of titanium most probably, it's much stiffer. And again, I'm not going into the units because these units should be consistent with the model which has been created in Ambacus. Material 2 is less stiff, as you can see. And these properties are again provided by a subscriber. Now what I have to do, I have to assign it to random polycrystals. So first thing is I will create solid section. I will create so solid section. It should be section one. And then I will select material one. And then I will press OK. And then I will do the same for section two. And then I will select material two. So if I show you now, I have section one with material one and section two with material two. And now I have to assign these sections to random grains so that I have a dual phase material with two different properties. So I, what I have to do, I have to go here to assign section properties and then I will have to select the grains randomly. So I will go to the sets because sets are already there. And the easiest way would have been if I could select these multiple grains randomly by pressing shift or control. But right now Abacus CA doesn't have this capability. So what I will have to do, I have to do a tedious way of doing it. This means I have to select each grain one by one with poly. And then I have to assign whatever property I want to assign out of the two material which I have already created. And you can see I have to do it at least 50 times because there are 50 poly grain, polycrystalline grains. Uh, or more precisely, there are 50 grains in this polycrystalline RVE. So let's do it for with one. And then I will do it for the rest. And you will see, I will fast forward it. And once I'm back, then we will have proper properties assigned for all the models. So now I can, I am back and you can see I have now assigned the properties and you can see the random material properties to random grains. So if you click on this and you will see this grain has material two properties. 
this screen also has material two properties while let's say this screen has material one properties and so on so this way you can assign 12 face material properties how, but how would but it would be easier if you could have selected multiple grains or when you are creating the napper file then you can easily select those grains and save them as one material element set in your input file and if your element set has all the all the elements from those grains in one set which require the same material property then you just have to select two of those sets in abacus cae and that would be uh, in done in less than 30 seconds but for this kind of model when you have multiple grains and multiple sets then you will have to do it individually and it will take a long time so i hope this was helpful if you have any more questions or any difficulty then please comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe the video and subscribe to my channel thank you very much and bye for now